hear the big words that are taking the industry by storm uh, machine learning uh, throughout this the course we are going to explore this topic as well as data science and how it all it fits to each uh, the text phase but first thing first uh, you need to be able to explain this topic uh, to your friends to your co-students and not look like you don't know what you're talking about so let's start with this you see machines or computers in this case are really really good at certain things right machines can perform tasks really really fast and we can control these machines and get them to do tasks for us which is what programming is we program computers we give them instructions to do tasks and they do it for us you see computers came in this world because it allows humans to do certain tasks really fast that may have required hundreds of workers before I mean computers used to actually mean people who do tasks that compute they computed things so for example let's say I want to find out how to get to Lisa's house using Google Maps well one option is I could pull up the map and with the ruler measures each of the routes that I could take to Lisa's house and then do some math to do ad some additions and find the shortest path path or I could ask a computer to do this imagine we had 10 different routes instead of me measuring each route one by one I could simply program and ask computer hey can you tell me how to get to Lisa's house and through programming we tell the computer can you calculate really quickly these thin routes and find the shortest one that's what programming is instead of me taking 10 minutes to figure out how to get to Lisa's house and the fastest route I just click a book button and the computer tells me what to do obviously we have a program it and give it instructions but once we give it it a set of instructions is just like that finds the solutions for us it computes the solutions and you know why computers became so popular because computers save com companies lots of money instead of hiring lots of workers well let's just buy one buy a computer that does task of 100 workers and there you go we save a lot of money and computers don't complain they can work 24 7 for us now these machines or these machines or computers are really good things that we can describe right so for example let's say we talk about routes I can say to the computer hey if route 1 is shorter than route 2 and if route 1 is shorter than route 3 and if route 1 is shorter than route 4 and also route 5 well then pick route 1 as the best options I can describe that through programming the computers and computers are really good at working on tasks that we have this defined rules all the way up to a game of a chess when you play a game of a chess against a computer we could technically have this A if else if then blocks lots of them to see how to move each piece and what pros and cons are and because computers are fast we can just do a ton of these calculations but then there's a problem what if instead of just trying to get to Lisa's house we have to ask is this person's angry let's say somebody left a review on uh, Lazada or we're building a product that detects human emotion how can I describe to a computer what angry means can you do that if an if else blah what about this what is a cat how do we tell a computer what cat is let's say I ask you to program 
a computer to detect if these pictures is a cat or not. Can you, can you program that? I mean, sure, you can technically technically say a yes. This cat has fur. This cat has whiskers. This cat meows. But then the computers come back to you and ask, what is meow? Or what are whiskers? What is hair? You see, the harder things become to describe, the harder it is for us to tell machines what to do. So, we hire humans to these things that are harder for us. So, we let machines take care of the easier part of which is you know things that we can describe and the harder things that are hard to just give instructions to. Well, we just let humans do it like being a salesperson or being an artist. Computers aren't good. So, we hire humans. But then, there's the new idea. Okay, there's a new idea of machines learning and you've definitely heard of it because it is a big buzzword right now in our industry, in Thailand, in anywhere because machine learning has a lot of applications. We could have self-driving cars, robots, vision processing, language processing, recommendations, engines, translation, services, stock market price predictions. So. There are so many applications and this is all about of machines learning. You see, these things that computers couldn't do before and only humans can now be done by computers with machine learning. So, well, kind of sometimes it gets it right, sometimes it doesn't. And we'll get into that, but the idea is this. The goal of machine learning is to make machines act more and more like humans because the smarter they get the more they help as humans accomplish our goals now in these se sections we're going to go over some theory to get us familiar with this topic to understand this topic a little bit more but don't get worried don't get intimidated we're going to try and simplify things and have fun along the way and in later sections we are going we are actually going to code build our own machine learning models and do the exciting stuff but we have to learn the foundation first so let's take a break and see you in the next video bye